For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. This is Starcraft Special DK, and I'm using the colour Stone. You will need a crochet hook, and this will depend on what your yarn suggests for you to use, but I'm going to use a 5mm. You will need a darning needle and a pair of scissors to snip off your ends. To begin, you want to create your slip knot, and you can do this whichever way you prefer. And you want to insert your hook. And we're going to start the foundation chain in multiples of five. So to do a chain, you want to yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through. So it's going to be multiples of five, and then you're going to add one to the end. So I've just done two, three, four, five, and then you would go again, one, two, three, four, and five. If you want to pause the video and work your chain in those multiples of five, and get to the length which you want your project to be, and meet me back once you've done. So now I've done um, a chain which is the length of 20 chains and I'm just going to do my plus one now. So add in one and that is 21. So this is just my sample size piece. Now what we're going to do is work our way back along this chain and we're going to work into the seventh chain from the hook. So we don't count the chain which is actually on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So once you've found the seventh chain from the hook, we're going to do two treble crochets in that space. Now this is a UK term. In the US, this is known as double crochet. So you want to wrap the yarn around the hook and insert into that seventh chain from the hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll be left with three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that is your first treble in that space. And you want to go ahead and do another one. So once you've done your two trebles, you're then going to chain one, and then we're going to skip two chains, and then work one treble crochet into the third chain along. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We then chain one, skip two chains, one, two, and then work two treble crochets into that third chain along. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again with your treble crochet. And then you're going to chain one. You're going to skip two, and then you're going to do one treble crochet into the next space. And you're going to repeat that all the way into the end of your um, chain. So pause the video, continue in that way. So two trebles, chain one, skip two chains, one treble, chain one, skip two chains, etc. So as I say, pause the video and meet me back once you've got to the end of your chain. So this is what your work should be looking like at the moment. You should end on one single treble. Now sometimes when I work my way back across the chain, this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes I'm not always left with a chain two at the end here. It doesn't matter overly so. Um, you can just sort of pop that last treble crochet into the very end with only one um, chain in between. So um, it just m might mean that you've just skipped um, over an extra train somewhere here but don't worry too much if that happens. So what we want to do now is chain one and you're going to turn your work and we're going to start working our way around posts um, from the previous row. So what I mean by that is around the long part of the stitch um, just here. So we're going to ignore this one here and we're going to start working around this one. And the way that we're going to work this is if I just grab this other piece here, 
we're actually going to work um, down and around, so almost like an upside down rainbow. That will make more sense in just a moment. So grab your work and we're going to do trebles around this post here. So you might actually find it easy just to turn the work on its side so that you can get your hook underneath that post and start working um, a treble. So you would go yarn over and insert your hook behind that post. I'm just going to turn my work around like this so that I'm pinching it and I know that I'm working around that post. Grab the yarn and pull it through so that you've got your three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you've done your first treble there and we're going to do five of those in total. So two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now if you bring the work back to normal, you'll notice that your hook will actually come down to the bottom. So if I just let this go here and pull it straight, those trebles are working down. Now we're going to work those trebles back up. Okay, Are you still with me? This is a little bit difficult to explain. So if I actually turn my work round the other way, so it's upside down, it makes this a little bit easier. We're now going to work around this second post here and we're going to be coming over this way and under. Okay. So yarn over, come back so that your hook goes around that post, grab the yarn and pull it through. So you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now at this point, I like to pinch my work so and fold it over so I know that I'm working around that same stitch. So that's my first treble. two, three, four, and five. So if I straighten out my work now, that leaves you with your upside down rainbow, okay? Now what you want to look for is that single treble and you're going to do a slip stitch into the top of that treble in order to secure that half rainbow down or your scale because that's what we're creating. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing around uh, these two trebles here. So again, I like to pinch my work so that I know I'm working around the correct treble. So if I just open that out there, you could probably see. So it would be yarn over, go behind that post of that treble and do five treble crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Open out the work so that you can see what you're doing. So you can see those stitches come downwards. And I'm going to fold my work in half again so that I can work back up that other side. So yarn over, insert behind that post. One, two, three, four, and five. Open out the work and it will reveal your scale. And then slip stitch into the top of the single treble. 
So that's what it should start looking like at the moment. You will find your way that suits you best as you're going along. So as I fold my work, you might find an easier way of doing it for you. So I'm just gonna work my trebles here and you will end up with this last section here and I'll just show you how to finish that off and then work up to your next row. So now I'm at the very end and I'm left with this turning chain from the very beginning. So you want to count up uh, one, two, three, four, five, and you just you just want to slip stitch into that fifth chain from the bottom. Um, it doesn't matter if you go into the fourth or the sixth, you're just trying to anchor that scale down. So that is what your first row will look like, and believe me, that is your most fiddly of the rows, just because it's it's only sort of a couple of chains wide. So as you build, it does get easier. So from here, you want to chain three and turn your work. That chain three is going to class as your first treble. And then we're going to do another treble into that same space. So just anywhere down at the bottom of that chain uh, will do. So you're creating that cluster of two trebles in that corner. You want to chain one, and then we're going to do one treble into the center of that scale, which is really easy to find. You want to chain one again, and then in the space where we did the slip stitch, so in the top of this chain one just here, so you can see that's the space, and then this is the chain one from the previous round, you're going to do two trebles into the top of there. So one and two, chain one, and then one treble into the center of the scale from the previous row. So we're just repeating what we did in the very first round. So two trebles, chain one, one treble, chain one, two trebles, chain one, etc. So pause the video and work your way right to the very end where you should end up with two trebles for your last um, couple of stitches. Do that and meet me back in a moment. So when you get to do your last two stitches, don't worry if you can't find exactly where that stitch needs to go, just find it somewhere in the corner of your um, scale from the previous row. So what we're going to do now is chain one and turn our work, and then we're gonna start off by doing the chains in this, around this um, double cluster here. So again, I turn my work onto the side to do this just because I find it much easier, but you want to start working around the back of um, that first treble and you're going to do exactly the same as before. So five trebles around that post. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So we've just worked our way down. Then you're going to turn your work so that you can work around um, that other treble. So yarn over. Remember you're working back the opposite way. So hook goes underneath. I've turned my work the other way and I'll do my five trebles. Two, three, four and five. So you can see that is the scale. And then you find the tre single treble and do a slip stitch. So it's exactly the same as the previous round uh, when we were making the scales. So you would work your way right the way across to the very end and you'll end with a scale. So pause the video and do that and I'll show you how to do the next round because it's really important that we try and keep our edges straight. So come back and I'll show you how to do the next row. So now I'm at the end of that row and you'll notice that you have uh, more scales on the second row than you do on the first, which is absolutely normal. 
Now what we don't want to happen is for these rows to just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So have more scales on each of them unless you're making something like a, um, a shawl or something like that. Um, so I'll show you how to do both of those options. So first of all, I'll show you how you would make it bigger and then I will show you how you keep it the same size. So if you're wanting to make it larger, what you would do is you would chain three and turn your work and then you would just chain an extra one to class as that uh, move over chain and then you would start off by doing two double crochets into the centre okay um, and then you would just continue with two double crochets chain one one double crochet chain one, two double crochets. And you'll just keep doing that for every round and you'll find that it gets uh, bigger and bigger. But if you want to keep it the same size, which we're going to do today, what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. And then we want to move across into this space. So you just go into slip stitch into that uh, the center of that scale from the previous round. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three, which acts as your treble. And then you add one more chain as your move over chain to the next space. So now you would do two treble crochets into the next space. Excuse the alarm in the background. It's very noisy today here. Um, chain one and one double crochet into the center space, chain one, etc. So you would just work your way across, um, working the two, chain one, one, chain one, right to the very end, which is this last space here. If you're getting wider, you would finish um, in the corner of the scale. So pause the video, work your way to your selected finish point, and I shall show you one more time how to create your scale. Okay, so I've just finished that round. The basic rule is whatever you start with, so with your single um, treble or your double treble, you will end with as well. Um, so at this point, we're going to chain one and turn. We don't do our scales around a single crochet. We do it around the cluster of two treble crochets. So you're just going to yarn over, go around the back of that first treble and do what you've been doing all the way along. So five trebles around that post. And then turn your work and do your five trebles around the second post. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into that single treble. So there you go, that is your crocodile stitch. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It is a more tricky one to do, so don't give up on your first try, keep going. If you did like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Bye.